Welcome to LearnClicker.com. In this tutorial, we'll go over some simple yet effective designer tips to create a dashboard that your users can um, visualize and understand clearly. Uh, it's important to learn how to present information visually in an effective way because uh, you can spend millions of dollars to build the most robust uh, data warehouse in the world uh, running on the most powerful hardware and uh, access by state of the art business intelligence software but uh, if the, your users who work with the data don't know how to make sense of the data that you you present in your in your app or dashboard then uh, clearly your investment is is wasted or your effort is in vain so it, it, it as much it's important to to uh, spend time to build a robust backend uh, it's equally important to, to build visually effective yet simple dashboard for, for users to make sense of the data that you present. With that in mind, I've created this uh, simple dashboard to show few tips on uh, how to visually uh, or effectively render uh, elements in your, in your dashboard so that um, it's it's easy to uh, make sense of the data that you present. A uh, few elements or a few objects that I always have have trouble with are uh, the gate charts and the pie charts. And I uh, it may just be me, but uh, I always believe that those are uh, very flashy yet um, quite confusing uh, objects to present in any um, any dashboard because. Uh, it's very very hard to to visualize um, those those elements effectively. So in this particular example, I created a chart, and instead of using the gate chart, I'm using uh, red and green LED signals to so the state state of the sales for each product. You see here, um, products are. Are on the left, and um, uh, without much effort, your your decision maker can see whether sales for each product is up or down just by looking at the uh, the LED um, image here. So, in order to construct that, all I've done is create a chart with with one dimension and several expressions of different types. Um, the first one is a uh, the type image. Um, and uh, it has, of course, uh, set analysis syntax with year over year comparison. And if, if the number is lower than one, or um, uh, for the current year versus previous, then I'm using a built in uh, LED image um, or, or the red LED image to. to um, depict that state of the the sales for that product in there are quite a few images that are built in click view uh, you can go in the uh, edit expression or expression editor in, in the image uh, tab and um, you, you can uh, browse through all these images they're they're available for you to use in your app so spend some time to go over those and um, Try to think of your dashboard and see how you can simplify it to to render these images for effective visualization. Um, and and uh, the same holds true for uh, for the uh, linear gauge. As you see here on scale of one to five, I'm showing how this year sales for each product st uh, compares against the previous year. Uh, and then of course you know I have a couple of uh, additional uh, set analysis syntax here for uh, year over year comparison. So that simple chart with um, four different, five different expressions um, we can use, and and uh, as you see, it's it's quite um, effective way to visually present the um, the state of the business or uh, you know product sales uh, for for. Each year compared to the previous year. On the right, I have a chart that shows the year over year sales for each each product, and uh, I'm using um, 
uh, a, a red color for for the bar uh, when the current year is um, is is down compared to the previous year. On the left, also you're seeing that I'm displaying a um, <clears throat> a light green color for for the product with highest sell for for the current year. So um, that's another way you can visually show either the the top or the bottom uh, product sales for the year and uh, those things are easy to do by simply going to either dimension or expression and then uh, when you uh, expand it you can change the background color uh, text color and format so um, that's that's another handy way to to visually show um, what are the top products or top regions in terms of sales in your in your um, company. So this was a simple yet effective example that I would like to uh, show to you. And um, in the in the the next video or sometime in the future, I'll show few more um, as, I, as I can think of and uh, share with you uh, but again you know as much time you spend on building a robust backend please spend equal time or or more to think of how you can present your data more effectively uh, for your users to make sense of without uh, being confused and um, uh, and it's easy to to render this flashy um, objects, but it, it takes some thought and uh, uh, thorough thinking to to uh, provide information in a simple yet effective way. So that that was the gist of this tutorial. I hope you liked it. If so, uh, please visit again as I keep uh, adding articles and and uh, videos to my blog. Uh, thank you for visiting. Uh, we'll see you so long. Take care. Bye now.